So welcome back to Master. Today we're going to be taking the Stealth Kraken Shark, totally awesome deck, into the Xyz Festival event, some live duels. I've been having so much fun in the event with this deck. If you see my Cricket video, right, it's very similar, right? It has the same kind of core plays with your Ryan Shark, with your Boo Fall, and Cricket Cook is in a deck for a reason. You have so much versatility with Utopic Future Draco, with Toad, with Bahama Shark, with Kraken, and it's kind of expensive still, right? This is a card from the uh, the Legacy Pack. So I had to craft, I have to waste crafting points on the Legacy Pack. So I'm hoping I can pull this card from Legacy Pack and then dismantle this card and get my money back. <laughs> Let's just go and dive right into the event. Why not? We haven't done a live, a live Duel Links, a live Duel Links, a live Master video in a while. And so yeah, we're currently what? Three quarters of the way there through the event. So uh, let's see what we face. Hopefully it won't be uh, the FTK, self FTK stall deck. Hopefully it'll be something relatively fun. But unlike Galaxy Eyes yesterday, this deck likes going first. And we're going second. <laughs> of course. Of course that would happen. Now, you know, there's a lot of Utopia decks that, that are making multiple negates. And we opened actually really nicely. Like genuinely, that's probably, aside from not having a single interruption, <laughs> uh, that's actually really good. You know, that is insane. He's playing, is he playing? Oh, that is based. That is so based. That's why I love this event, right? My, you know, my, um, my video on the event, I said that just seeing so many different decks come out that you wouldn't see before. You really wouldn't see Chalmers come out on the ladder, right? And so we're probably going to absolutely destroy them here. Uh, you know, before, saying stuff before it actually happens. Oh, come on. What a, what a good top deck, right? Yeah. <laughs> This should be very easy. Now, he does have... No, okay. I can't remember what the trap does in the deck. They have a really good trap, though. So, uh, I'm hoping that it's not nothing too scary. But we do have multiple uh, special summons, right? We have multiple anglers. Which kind of, we could have seen one other card, right? We'd have been golden. Skill drain. Okay. Uh, I, I'll admit, that's not the... Um, <laughs> that's not the kind of card you want to... You want to be seeing, oh, uh, okay. Um, we can actually get a little bit far, right? We can get, we can get somewhere at least. We're gonna go Bahama Shark, and then we're gonna go and activate the effect of that to get from our graveyard. Let's go and put Angler, right? Because I know I have more copies of that. Negated. That's fine. We're then going to play this. Oh no, we're fine. I think we're good. No, we're not. We're not good because we can't use use um. I was gonna use the effect of the um. The, oh, the, um, what's the card called? It When it attacks in, it pops a back row, right? It's a dual links. Uh, but that won't work either. Because the effect's negated. So, yeah, we, we can just go into Utopic Future Draco, which, again, is not really worthwhile doing because that doesn't really do anything. I feel like, given where we are, I think we just go for a nice, a nice big wasp. <laughs> We'll summon the Vespinato. Uh, I'm not really fussed on having multiple uh, Xyz underneath at this point. Because we've got to deal with Skill Drain. And Skill Drain is an absolute um, bastard to deal with. So we can attack in with both of them. That's great, actually. So that's going to get rid of that. That's fine. And then Bama Shark can attack it directly. Now, let's see. Can you deal with two Xyz and not, you know, without your own monster effects, basically? Because that's the, the main thing. I'm not sure how Charmers do <laughs> without their effects, but they have the uh, spell card, of course, gonna draw one whenever it's summoned. That's crazy good. Makes 250. That's actually pretty big. It can't, it can't deal with my guys though. So, end phase. Yeah, like just I, I, I assume that would be the case. <laughs> uh, and we can actually, we can, if only, if only. But we can, we can make a another um we can make another rank four so i think we're actually in a very good spot because unless he has like a sphere creep or something then we actually just win here so let's just uh go and make another palma shark and i i guess wrap things up because that was a very simple straightforward skill drain to play through i mean charmers you know charmers when they pop off can really pop off like i've seen them pop off and they've been they've been insane when they do but this just uh this just wasn't this wasn't really it for this player just a nice Nice, easy, didn't even get to summon the gate or anything, just beat them down. We could have done so much, that first hand was so good, with the skill didn't wasn't there. We could have set up like, three negates, and oh, that would have been, 
insane. We got eight gems though, so that's always worthwhile. Let's go in once again and hopefully find a deck that, uh, or a player that isn't playing Skill Drain. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, always fun. Reich Krupin, if he's going second then, you know, you've got to be very confident in your going second deck if you're picking going second. So I'm expecting multiple droplets, multiple lightning storms. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that is good. That is, that is a cra that is a crazy good hand. Oh my god, that is, that is so based. Can we assume this goes off, right? If this doesn't get, if this doesn't get ashed, that's so good. Yo, it didn't. Oh my god. We are, we are gaming today. Holy. Okay. So let's go in for the Bahamut Shark. And then right away, we can go and make a copy of, do, do, do. Let's go and do, um, thinking about the ordering, right? Angler to Graveyard, and then we'll go into, um, we kind of have to do it this way, which is the annoying bit. So let's go and make you. We kind of have, we were kind of forced to do it this way, which does play into Nibiru, right? If we put, but hopefully he doesn't have a Nibiru. So here we can go into you. Uh, we're going to first of all play Caesar Mora. Which can detach two materials from this card, from your field, sorry, to summon out itself, and two materials from your graveyard. So we can just summon out three fishes in defense. They are going to be negated, but that is that is perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine for the moment, because even after this, we're not done. So as long as there doesn't, there isn't a, there's no, there's no Nibiru. Come on, there, there feels like no Nibiru. So let's go and make. We'll make an EMZ, our Utopic Future. And then we'll make our Utopic Future Draco. Wait, can I do this more than once a turn? Is that... Is that... Is that really not once per turn? That's not once per turn. Holy shit. That is insane. So let's go and make you... With that, right? Yeah. In for Bahama Shark. Oh my god, this is gonna be this is gonna be like the most based field you've ever seen. Uh discarding angler to the graveyard. And we're gonna summon out the toad. However, we can't really do much. Actually thinking about it because of this. So we can summon out this guy, but we can't do a crazy amount more, I think. Like, what can we do? We can do yeah, we can make you, right? Yeah, we can go somewhere more. We're going to detach one from the Bahama. And detach one from the Tokyo Future, which is not really the best play. But you know what? Two negates probably be fine. Summon you. We have no space. Uh, <laughs> and then let's go for... Let's go for Stealth Kragen. So, yeah. we. This is probably as good as we're going to get. And we could have got here either way, right? We could have played White Mirror. White... Oh, no, we can do... Oh, no, we can. Yo. No, we're going to do it. White Mirror. Targeting Angler. Oh, my God. This is such a... This is such a good field turn one. Holy crap. We've used our entire hand. And then we're going to add to hand the Angler from deck. Ah, uh, if he just... If he just comes in with like a... <laughs> if he comes in with a Lightning Storm or something, then at least we have the, uh, you know, the, the Toad, but... <laughs> Oh dear, and then we're going to go for, um, who do we go for actually? I probably should go for the Vespinato, right? Just so we have something here, do we? Mm. No, you know what? Yeah, no, yeah, we, yeah, we do. <gasps> why not? You know what? Why, why not? Going to make you into Chakanine. We're then going to go and make a uh, Borbo, because eventually this will be the, uh, the Zeus target, right? You'll eventually rank this up into uh, into Zeus from this, because this can't be used as a material uh, the turn it was summoned. So the next turn it can be. But we do have a a very beefy board. A stupidly beefy board. Come at me. Come on. Show me the Lightning Storm and then the Raigeki. Because <laughs> that's what I'm expecting. The only way this would have been better is with a Goza match. Because then we could have flipped it and then done the Ghost and Lock with your Stealth Kraken. Because this turns every monster on the field to waters. And once per turn could pop a water. 
So if your opponent summons a water and the rest of their deck is fires and earths or whatever, then, okay, here comes Kaiju number one. And then we're going to use Toad, and we're going to, we can't summon Toad or anything else, so we're going to recycle back to our hand. Um, ooh, I'm going to recycle actually the Bustle. Think about it. There's not, there's not much we can do right after this, like we can flow into whatever, like we could play two. Ooh, what is this? Hippo Carnival. Okay. Summoning three tokens. This is, this is, this is the cool thing, right, though, is that I don't know what this deck is. I have no idea what he's playing. It could be some dumb OTK stall. I don't know. It could be anything. But that's why this is so much more fun to me than ranked. Because you're not facing Drytron. Left arm offering. Okay. Banishing your entire hand. Add one spell card to your hand. Sorry, we're going to ask you. You had... <laughs> you had another hippo. Okay. Wait. Was this Egyptian... This wasn't... No, this wasn't Egyptian gods, was it? No, spell card. Wait. Would that have been the Ra card? The one the summons Ra? Is that where we were going with that? Or were we summoning Ra? Oh, I need to see his deck. He's just going to crash. He's going to crash and deal 9k to himself. Fair play, dude. Fair play. Right? <laughs> Fair play. Not the most interesting matchup in the world, right? You know, in terms of interactivity, but... Uh... <laughs> Oh dear, that felt that felt good. 500 medals, we got some legacy tickets. Let's go and see his deck. I want to see, was it Ra? No, it wasn't. What was he? What was this gold moon coin? Inferno Tempest. Oh my god, that's so cheesy. Oh my god. No wonder you got rid of the toad. You had the combo. Turn one. That would have been insane. Oh my god. You know what? We'll do one more. Because, uh, why not? We'll see if we can actually get like, a fun Xyz challenge. We're going against Elvis Presley. Let's go, boys. And again, we lose the die roll. The coin flip. <laughs> Come on. Give me give me first. I assume we'll give you second. Most most decks in Mars still like going first. Which is why I like Galaxy Eyes. I guess again, going second. Yeah, like, you know, ga playing Galaxy Eyes is so refreshing because most people will say, go, you know, they will pick going first and set up a board and you can just go, oh, let's just, you know, nuke their board and get rid of it. Fair enough. If you want to see hand traps, then you, you might as well see the three main hand traps running in the deck, one of each. That is always great. Into Zodiac, or Zodiac Zodiac. <laughs> Zodiac Thoroughblade, we're going to straight away come down with the Imperm. The Imperm, the Maxi. I can, I can word. Because Ash Blossom... Okay. Fair enough. Um, so if you end on a Dryden, we can just imperm you. Kaiser Colosseum. Now that. Now that's a bit of a pain in the ass. And of course, he, I guess connection failed, right? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Oh, 15 gems. I'll take I'll take it for a connection failed. E3 Ziaz, our final hopefully opponent of the day. We're going second. Again, we don't really like going second with this deck, but it definitely can be doable. Now, do not give me another Raid Raptor player, please, for the love of God. Do not give me that. I do not want to face that again. If you haven't seen the YouTube short I posted the other day on that duel, then sure. Double Ash versus three back row. Four back row. Uh, Phantasm Spiral, I think, might be the deck we're playing against right now. You know, that would have been so, so based if that was, if that was actually the Duster, that would have been crazy, but it's not going to be, right? We're probably going to get Skill Drain flipped on us in a minute. <laughs> you, you know it's happening, right? It's not, it's, it's not happening. Okay, fair enough. Um, it's not happening, but we can at least, you know, get somewhere, right? We can, we can at least get somewhere. Um, so let's go and make, uh, I'm gonna actually make the, I'm gonna get Ryan Shark out, because I do like having that protection, I think that's quite neat, uh, especially if you are going for something like, uh, your, uh, your Black Ray Lancer, then you want, you want, no, your, uh, Bama Shark, then you do want to give it at least some form of protection, right? So, let's see if this does just get yeeted by the back row, but obviously with this amount of back row, we're 100% going for um, 
going for Toad. Just uh, just just uh, real quick, just 100%. Toad's coming out. Don't think that's surprising anyone. And we're gonna hopefully keep looping him, and hopefully our our guy will survive a turn. All we can kind of hope for is that he indeed does live. So let's attack him with the Lantern Shark. Genuinely curious what the back row is. Negate attack. Don't really want to play it yet because future Draco isn't on the field, but that's fine. And if it dies, it dies. It's no kind of no biggie. But Time Maiden. Ooh, Time Lords. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Do this card add a Time Lord from deck to your hand. Uh, sorry, that is getting Ash Blossomed. There has been a lot of Time Lords on this event. Which makes sense, right? It, it is a deck that can thrive in an event like this. And that's that's the fun thing, right? Is that, yes, it is an Xyz Festival. And, you know, really you should be playing Xyz based decks. But he had one in hand anyway. Didn't matter. There we go. This one is Lazion. Who, um... Shuffle all cards from your opponent's graveyard into the deck. Fair enough. And, uh, once per turn, if I draw a card... I take a thousand. So this card can't be destroyed by battle of card effects, so this doesn't really do anything. So there's no real point in negating it. It just doesn't do anything. Now if we had future Draco, then we could have stolen it. You know, we could have stole it. Which would have been, you know, the ideal thing to do. Uh, but we could do that now. That also would have been kind of ideal, like, you know, ten turns ago, but sure. Uh, so that's going to deal me a thousand. That's fine. Uh, you know, just let me take it. That, that, that's fine. Uh, let's go and make... Um, yeah, we'll go and just straight up uh, detach you and then make our... Our first utopic future Draco. Well, our first, our only utopic future Draco. I'm not that rich. I can't, I can't afford two. And we can't even like attack in and deal like a little bit, a little bit damage, right? Because he, uh, I believe he takes no battle damage, right, from attacks involved in this card. I think that's kind of how the time laws work. Is, uh, yeah, no damage from attacks involving this card. So, like, sure we can. I mean, can we? What does he even? What does he even do, right? Um, is at the end of the battle phase if this card. Sh Ooh, Judgment. Ooh. Ooh, that's horrible. Oh, no. Oh, that's rough. Um, okay. Beautiful. That is a little bit rough. So, yeah, let's go and grab uh, Boss Saw again. And then we'll do the whole Boss Saw thing. Boss Saw into the... Um, into the Sun Angler. The Dual Links combo. Bring it into Master Duel, and then, yeah, we'll summon you in defense, and then we can go in for, uh, not, <laughs> uh, not Bahama Shark. We can just make a, uh, a Kraken, right? Yeah, we can make a Kraken. I think that's fine. We'll save the, uh, the save the guy for then, and then. <sighs> the thing is that Time Lords don't really, you know, you can't pop them anyway. So, this doesn't really do much, apart from making them water. So, this is going to bounce itself out, right? And it's going to, um, yeah, shut itself out to the deck, that's fine. Doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is what he draws. So, of course, he has um, Mitaion, the Time Lord which returns as many monsters on the field as possible to the hand, and if you do, deals 300 for each one of them returned. That is... Yeah. That is a card. Uh, so, of course, we're going to negate that with our... Um, with, with our totally... Right. <laughs> you know, we're not, we're not letting that one through, of all things. Uh, I don't really want these getting bounced back to the hand. Um, yeah, we can just send Toad and then recycle Toad with its own effect. Just kind of the, the, the great thing about Toad is you can just keep recycling it if you have access to that um, that exceeds. So that's fun. Uh, and then Toad, gonna get Toad and recycle Toad. Obviously, if Toad was at, at two, that'd be great. 
but at one you can still get at least a little bit of action in with him so uh, that's fun uh be back is the extra deck that's fine and then in the end phase what does this do nothing it just straight up uh doesn't do anything in the end phase okay fair enough infinite impermanence this actually might just be game here this might legitimately just be game actually no it's not because we uh we can't play imperm this turn because that's how cards work <laughs> Surprise, surprise, cards have special effects you have to adhere to. Oh no, that's a... It's, it's a thing. Right, let's go into our boss or... Not a boss or a Bahamut Shark. That's what we're doing. And then... Hopefully this doesn't get judgmented. I would be really annoyed if it did. Don't have a judgment in the back row. You don't. Good, thank you. That's great. Uh, in for our Toad, of course. And then we'll set the Imperm in the middle column. And then we're going to end our turn. And we're going to see what happens. Will you top deck one of the most insane cards in the game? Probably. Um, we could Imperm now. That would be kind of terrible. Because the one we want to Imperm, really, is when we're attacking. Like, when we can attack. Right? Because then he can attack in, and then his thing will be destroyed, and it'll take damage. So, it's kind of what we're waiting for, but he doesn't seem to have anything. Oh, he bricked. He didn't top deck into the card he needed. Oh, it feels so good. I could play White Mirror, but I'm not going to be an idiot. And... Sorry. Why? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to send the Toad again to the graveyard and get the Wobaku. Sorry. Please have another. It's all I can recommend. Uh, yes, we'll, I'll happily take your Wabaku. I keep forgetting Toad has that. You can just like steal their cards. That's so good. Uh, let's add back the uh, the Toad. And then we can summon the Toad back with our Bahama Shark. Alright, let's get you Bahama Shark. Uh, detach the Sun Angler and then go into into this. Now I I'm trying to think whether I really want to play White Mirror. And I'm thinking, right, on board now we have game. So if he has anything, then he does kind of stop us, which is really annoying. But we can just go and use this to make Vespanito. And then that should be game. That is game. There we go. There we go. That is the Xyz Festival. Not really the most Xyz festival decks we face today, but I just wanted to do a video on this deck because I'm enjoying it so, so much. There's so many plays that even weren't shown in the video today that can be possible with a deck. And, uh, of course, if you do face Narc Rebellion, then just know that if your opponent wants to literally keep you hostage, they can do. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next Master Duel video. I think tomorrow will be Thursday if I'm correctly uploading this on the times. And so tomorrow will probably be Duel Links focus because we have Anna coming. So expect some Duel Links videos in the next couple of days. But... Yeah, master content going pretty well. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of thing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next master video. See you then.